Hey guys, this is Eric with a real fast Shake tutorial. I got an email from a guy wanting to know how to export his material from Shake, whether it be a movie or a pic. And I'm just going to use a pic just to, to show him how to do this. As you can see, I have my node tree here, and here's my picture. Um, here's the before, right there. It's a daytime cloud pic, and after I've worked on it here in Shake, I've turned it into a nighttime scene. Now, how do I export this? Well, you go to your last node, go to the Image tab, and add a File Out node. This will bring up a dialog box. Navigate to where you want to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop. And then I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Test. Now, with Shake, you have to tell it the extension you want it to be exported as. If you want it to be exported as a QuickTime movie, you got to put the name of the file .mov. If you want it to be an MPEG, you put the name of the file .mpeg. The same with JPEG, name of the file .jpeg. So I'm just exporting a pic, so I'm going to name it test.jpg. Like that. And I'm going to say OK. Now this gives me a file out node named test. Now that I've got my file out node, I'm going to click it and select it. Go up to my tools in the, in the top here. Click, select my men, men, render menu, excuse me, and select render file out nodes. Then this render parameters box will come up inside the render parameters box. You can select render file out nodes. You can select just one node, or if you have more than one file out node, you can select all. I'm just going to leave it selected because I just got one. Now, time range. This is how many frames are in your movie. If it's a thousand frame movie, put one dash one thousand and hit enter. It will, it will render out one frame 1 through 1,000. Or you can just hit this auto button here. And it will automatically set everything in for you. Now, I'm just exporting a JPEG, but I want it to be 25 frames long. So I'm going to put 1-25. And I'm going to say render. It's going to open up my flipbook. And it's going to start rendering. Now, I'm also going to render out a dot .movie. So let me go back up to my render window since my file out node is already selected. Render file out node. Let's just export one frame this time. There, I've exported one frame. Now I'm going to add another file out node. I'm going to name this test2, and I'm going to make it a .movie file this time instead of a JPEG. And here it is. I'm going to select it and add it on right there. Go up to Render. Render File Out Nodes. Make it 1 through 25 frames. And select Render. It'll open up my render pipeline, my render engine, and go at it. If you want it to play back inside the render preview, all you got to do is hit the period key when it's done rendering. Or the um, back and forward arrows. That's only in your flipbook, not your file out, not your render flipbook. Though you can't do that with your when you're rendering file out nodes. Only when you're rendering a flipbook. And this is your flipbook right here. If you hit this, it will render a temporary flipbook for you. So you don't have to render it out to disk to see what it looks like. So anyways, I'll go over here. And here's my movie 25 frames that I just exported in shake as you can see the stars are going a little crazy because they're randomized but there you go that's how you do it it's that easy the interface is a little different on shake it takes some getting used to but once you get used to it it's so powerful you'll never use motion again motion has wonderful wonderful tracking and keying tools and stuff but compared to shake it's a turkey sandwich so um, I hope you guys learned shake Put it to good use, and we'll see you next time.